Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion about the welding defects analysis. So today we'll go the uh, uh, one by one. We'll check the what are the defects are there for welding, and uh, one by one we'll check the cause, prevention, repair. How will what is the cause of the welding defect? How it will prevent? What will be the repair? So we'll check. Now uh, defects and discontinuity. This is the two term. So what is defect and what is discontinuity? Discontinuity and interruption of this typical structure of a material such as lack of homogeneity in its mechanical, metallurgi metallurgical or physical characteristics. A discontinuity is not necessarily a defect. Means you see in welding there is a porosity, there is an undercut, there is a lack of uh, penetration. So all these things which comes under first will become in the discontinuity. You cannot tell the defects. In this, if this discontinuity if it is beyond the acceptance criteria as per the design as per the standard then it comes to the defect and if it is under the acceptance criteria then it's not a defect it's called discontinuity so all discontinuity are not as a defect it's not necessarily a defect if it is beyond the acceptance criteria then it is a defect that's why it's mentioned here if all or flaws that by nature or accumulated defects surrendered a part or product unable to meet minimum applicable acceptance criteria or specification so if it is minimum accepted criteria is meeting then it is not a defect if it is not meeting it is not meeting the acceptance criteria then it's a defect now well joint discontinuity there are so many discontinuity discontinuities are there you see here misalignment undercut underfill concavity all all welding engineer welding people welding uh, uh, technically people are knows about this well joint and joint discontinuity those discontinuities misalignment undercut underfill concavity especially bread spot when improper enforcement overlap burn through incomplete or insufficient penetration incomplete fusion surface irregularity arc type so all these things we'll discuss but some of the these we cannot discuss it as the video will be taking long so we'll, we'll go the 80 percent of this discontinuity see here first is misalignment from where it is got the from where is coming the misalignment it is called the actual hilo if you, the term is at the side you cannot so many times you can see from welding engineer and from welding inspector the hilo is coming from the welding joint so what is hilo definition amount the joint is out of alignment at the root hilo it is coming in the root in the root when it is fitting the when it is fitted by the fitter that time it didn't shake the this hilo this is the root uh, hilo he didn't check in the proper level so the this hilo is coming this is called the hilo means the amount of joint is out of alignment this is the out of alignment this is not in the same level so it is called the out of alignment hilo at the root all this carelessness this is the carelessness of the who is doing the fabricator or fitter who is doing this joint also due to joining different thickness if you see the thickness is different here and here it is not the same thickness when you are doing uh, joining together you you didn't proper see the joint thickness maybe you are taking the wrong thickness then it is coming like this hilo prevention how will prevent workmanship workmanship is be, should be better means you should check the before the uh, before fitted all the material is the same thickness and it should be in the proper level high look everything should be there the whatever the equipment should be there in your air fabrication area transition angle not should it be 2.5 mm 1 mm so this one it is 1 mm it is more it's acceptable it is more than this one then it will it not be 2.5 mm to 1 repair is how to repair grinding careful on surface finish and direction on grind mark inside or pipe or tube typical so repair how will you repair you have to put after holding after holding finish you see this one will happen so you have to grind it carefully you have to grinding careful on surface finish and direction on grind marks and grind marks if it is there then uh, surface then it will be problem so surface finish should be very careful for this one and uh, if you see in the alignment stage in the beginning stage then no problem you have to uh, remove all this tag and all this whatever happened and after that again alignment should be need to be done 
and if it is smooth the welding then you have to grinding the proper grinding a smooth area because if it is not smooth in the both surfaces then the stress will be generated stress will be generated and the stress concentration if it is if it is generated here then the crack will be capped okay so this is the misalignment the definition what is the cause what is the prevention how will be repaired so this is you have to know in the in like that way. you see undercut undercut definition ki a groove cut at the two of a wedge and the left arm field you see if there is a ferrer metal you see here you see the ferrer metal already melted okay a groove cut is the groove cut it is called the groove cut at the two of the weld there is a, this is the two this is the two of the weld and this is the fillet weld and if you see in the same case in the groove weld it is same uh, in the groove joint you can see the same things two of the weld the left arm field this is called this is you see the separate metal has been diluted and there is unfilled is coming so this is um, called undercut <coughs> what is the cause high amperage is happening when the, when the welder is doing welding the high amperage electrode angle is not good long arc length arc length is more and the rust this four things is the cause high amperage electrode angle is not proper as per the wps if it is not mentioned in the wps but there is a manufacturer recommendation you should the uh, proper angle with the electrode and the workpiece long arc length arc length is the more or long then it will be happen the arc is more than uh, then it will be arc uh, the current will be more then undercut will be the uh, undercut will be happen prevention set machine on scrap metals clean metal before welding so this is the very good prevention when you have to doing the welding before start of the welding first you have to check in the scrap metal all the <coughs> things uh, arc length then voltage then current it is in the proper condition as per the wps or whatever it is mentioned so after that you can check uh, you can check uh, you can uh, start in the uh, clean metal means the uh, workpiece repair weld with smaller electrode so you have to repair in this electrode you cannot put in the electrode here in the more diameter you have to put in the maybe 2.5 mm or 2 mm electrode you have to use it here sometime must be low hydrogen we split it sometimes must be used first so sometimes you have to use this is the low hydrogen because the, this is the more critical area so low hydrogen used for preheat with preheat to repair the weld insufficient fill insufficient fill so insufficient fill uh, you see here i will discuss in the insufficient fill the road side of the circuit the insufficient fill the weld surface is below the adjacent surface of the base metal cause improper welding technique so there is a weld surface if it is below the adjacent surface of the base metal weld surface insufficient fill the below of the adjacent surface of the base metal so this is called the insufficient fill cause what is the cause improper welding technique prevention is apply proper welding technique for the weld types and position use stripper bits before the cover pass okay if you are think the insufficient field is here so you have to use the stripper bit one side is the insufficient bit so you use the stripper bit for this particular position after that you have to use the cover pass so the prevention is used like that the repair how you repair simply weld to fill may require preparation by grinding so after point the you may require the um, finishing by grinding that particular weld insufficient fill on the root side sag back so the weld surface is below to the adjacent surface so weld surface this is the weld surface if it is below to the adjacent surface of the base metal of the weld root if it is below or it is more two things will be happening in sufficient fill cause typically improper joint penetration or excessive weld pooling so if it is improper joint joint penetration is there then it will not in sufficient fill then the the, the the weld root it will not come here it will not come here if it is also same thing happen if it is the welding joint is uh, it is the root gap is high and if it is the welding joint uh, if you think welding current is more then it will be the more more uh, old full heat so heat will be generated more than old full is more here so this is called the sag back correct cause is the next slide is there a repair is the back weld to fill you have to fill the back weld here if it is not penetrated uh, joint improper joint penetration or may require may require removal if it is more here the excessive joint penetration is ha happening because of the root gap or current 
so you have to remove the welding joint by welding say old section by grinding and you have to uh, get the required weld reinforcement height cause of insufficient fill at the root some liquids like water or molten steel try to cover as such mass surface of the whatever they are contact with as possible so we have to contact some liquid like water or molten steel you have to remove from there welding a root first too wide can also cause the bead to sag so you can if it is root first if it is wide more wide then you can maybe welding metal it will be coming in a sagging condition then so if it is condition is sagging condition when it will be in the overhead position Removing a root first by grinding, you have to root first removing by grinding. Recreate the groove geometry as closely as possible. So you have to recreate the groove geometry in the groove geometry in the root side as closely as possible. What are the affected area? You have to recreate the groove. Use saw die grinder. You have to use the saw die grinder and one sixteen inch to one inch cut up wheel. to recreate the root opening you have to root opening you have to do root opening remember repairs are sometimes required to made with the smaller electrode so always you have to use the smaller electrode for the repair this is the basic idea open the group angle group angle you have to open be careful to leave the proper root face dimension be careful to leave the root face dimension you have to be careful feather the start and stop to blend smoothly into and out in the existing one So this is the you have to recreate the first group geometry. They have to use the saw or die grinder, one or sixteen inch or one or eight inch part wheel. Then you have to remember repairs are sometimes required. You have to use smaller electrode to repairs. Open the group angle. You have to open the group angle by cutting the by use the saw or die grinder. Then you have to check the there is a leave. Be careful. There should be a leave a face root face dimension. After finish the welding, start and stop to blend smoothly into out of the existing oil. Excessive concavity or convexity definition. You see concave. It is coming center C and this is a coming center B. So concavity or convexity is the fillet oil which exceeds exceed the specified allowable limits. So concavity or convexity is a is a defect. If it is Exit the allowable exit allowable limits. First, amperage and table speed. If it is, it totally depends upon the amperage and table speed. If it is amperage and table speed, it is not as per the design or WPS. Then it will happen the concavity or convexity. Prevention. How will prevent this one? Observe proper parameters and techniques. Similar, I have I told the WPS we have to follow the parameter and technique. If it is and that WPS is not following that particular uh, concavity and convexity, you have to make the Again, WPS to prove the joint is correct configuration with correct properties. Repair, grind off or weld on. So you have to repair, grind off. You have to weld on. Must blend smoothly into the old metal. So you have to blend the two areas, two areas to blend smoothly at the base metal. Again, it is here the you have to check. It should not be anything for the stage concentration should be there. It should be blend should be. Hair smooth, so fatigue life will be more better. Reinforcement. You see, there is amount of groove weld which ex extend beyond the surface of the plane. So re reinforcement, it is ex per acceptance standard. It is okay. If it is beyond the acceptance standard, then it is the three types of is there: excessive reinforcement, insufficient reinforcement, improper counter. So what is this excessive reinforcement definition? The specially defined by the standard, typical reinforcement should be flush or flush to one eight one on one to sixteen inch and one to eight inch. Was this travel space too slow? Ampere is too low. If it is travel space too slow, what will happen? The reinforcement will be very high. If it is ampere is too low, also the excessive reinforcement will be high. So prevention high will prevent. Set ampere and travel speed on scrap plate. So again, you have to check in the scrap plate in the proper travel speed and ampere. After that, you have to check. I have you have to go to the uh, job work. Remove excessive reinforcement and feather the weld tools. Excessive reinforcement you have to remove. After that, feather the weld tools and you have to feather the weld tools. It's a smooth transition in the base plate. 
insufficient reinforcement you see here the insufficient is for reinforcement you see one side is like one side is more one one side is uh, so this type of definition especially if we find in the standard typically under film may be up to five percent of the metal should not to exit one to thirty one to thirty two as long as the thickness is made up in the opposite direction but not applied up to, up to fillet oil so if not applied this insufficient reinforcement it's not applied for the fillet oil cause is on root reinforcement too little filler metal will cause thinning of the filler metal in a way it's position too hot or too wide will cause dropping on the open root paddle so on root in reinforcement if it is filler metal too little will cause the thinner of the thinning of the filler metal so thinner, uh, filler metal if it is thin then it will be uh, it will become under the proper old metal it will not be deposited so it comes under the un under fill will come so that is called also insufficient reinforcement prevention how will prevent use proper welding technique use backing or consumable insert use back welding or backing repair possibility simply increase the face reinforcement is if back welding is not possible must remove and weld then if it is back welding it is not possible you have to must remove the weld then you have to re weld improper weld control you see weld control is not improper it should be 135 degree definition when the weld exhibit less than a 1350 transition angle at the weld to so 1350 transition oil 135 degree on the actual 135 degree if it is less than 135 degree then it is a improper oil contain if it is 135 less than then the stress will be generated where then in that stress generated it will come under the defect and it will be caused uh, in future uh, uh, crack Cause of poor welding technique. Welding technique is very poor, that's why. Prevention, use proper technique. A weave or weave motion can often eliminate the problem. So, a weave motion. So, you have to, proper weave motion we have to use. Repair the weld face must be feathered into the base plate. So, weld face must be feathered in the base plate. This is the repair. Overlap. You see the overlap is here, how it is coming in the fillet joint. Overlap is measured with a square inch such as 6 inch rule. No amount of overlap is typically allowed. So, overlap is not allowed when the face of the wheel extends beyond the two of the wheel. So, it is the extra material. It is the extra material will extend beyond to the of the wheel. Cause is what is cause? Improper welding technique is improper. Typically, electrode angles and travel speed. Electrode angle and travel speed is the main proper cause. Prevention, how will prevent? Overlap is a control problem, proper welding technique will prevent this problem. So this is very important. This is very important. This is electrode angles and travel speed. If you are not done by correctly, then definitely overlap will come. This is needs the very good technique. Otherwise, the prevention will be uh, cannot be prevention will not be occurred. Prevention cannot be happened. Repair. The overlap must be removed to blend smoothly in the base metal. Be careful of deep brain mass that run transverse to the load. So, this is should be in the smoothly blend. And be careful, there should not be any grinding work in the transverse to the load. If it is transverse to the load, then it will be, it will be happen as a defect or it will become, a crack will become. Also be careful, the fuse and discontinuity hidden by grinding use entity to be sure. So, after this, all these things, better you have to do one fillet oil test maybe and it is uh, liquid penetration test we have to do if there is any discontinuity is there or not burn through you see the burn through the, the root phase is so big and and what will happen the definition when undesirable open hole has been completely melted through the base metal so there is the open hole is there this is called open hole this is the root gap has been completely melted means because it is totally melted the root phase area through the base metal and the base metal also the hole may or may not be left open so that hole it will not coming and uh, it will not be open this will be total burn through will happen and the pillar metal will come is very badly cause is excessive heat input the heat input is more very high heat input that's why it is coming like this prevention reduce heat input by increasing table speed so you have to increase the table speed then heat input it will be low heat input, heat input will be low then it will not happen burn through 
use of a heat sink or by reducing welding parameter so you have to see the welding parameter it is correct or not in that welding parameter if it is happened it is like this then you have to change your wps or you have to make the new wps definitely repair will be defined by standard filling may sufficient otherwise removal of rewelding may be required some standard may require space of filler metal or pwst so you can some it is depends upon the totally uh, client if it is basically if it is burned through then you have to make the recreate the groove again the correctly this area in the burn through area after that and the rewelding again but some standard may require you have to special filler metal you have to use the pwst to complete the the correct quality of the welding incomplete or insufficient penetration you see there is the incomplete penetration is there penetration is not done properly definition when the weld pool weld metal does not extend to the required depth into the joint load so means the weld metal it is not it is not come to the in the proper depth into the joint load so joint load it is not come so it is not extend to the required depth into the joint load so causes low amperage low preheat tight root opening fast travel speed short circle length low amperage if it is low amperage so it will not be penetrated means current is too low low preheat preheat is low means it cannot be complete the joint penetration tight to root opening if it is root opening is very tight then you cannot melt at that area fast travel speed travel speed is very fast then you cannot then then the joint then the electrode cannot melt it properly in that area short arc length if it is arc length prevention correct the contribution factor so you have to contribution factor means cause low ampere is we hit you have to correct all these things would be correct then you have to repair how you repair the baggage baggage you have to baggage this one and back weld and remove back weld or remove and reweld you have to reweld it back weld you have to remove the welding then you have to reweld it incomplete fusion same here you see here the joint is having the where the old metal does not form a cohesive bond with base metal means there is a no bond with welding and base welding and the base metal filler weld and base metal welding metal and the base metal there is no fusion that is called the incomplete fusion cause how it is called low ampere steel electrode angles means the electrode angles here is stiff fast travel speed short arc gap lack of preheat electrode too small unclean base metal arc of shim so these are the thing cause amperage is if it is very low then it will happen stiff electrode angles fast travel speed is travel speed is very high short arc gap is very short lack of free heat free heat is uh, low. so all these things it comes under the heat so prevention how we will prevent eliminate the potential cause so you have to eliminate the potential cause what are the potential cause this is the potential cause ampere so you have to use the correct parameter and repair how you repair remove and reweld you have to remove and reweld being careful to completely remove the defective area this is sometimes extremely difficult to find so this area when you are remove the weld this is the we have to remove from here to here all weld and you have you can do one thing you have to check here lpt and you have to sure you have to ensure that there is no more any defect after that you can start the welding here so this is the repair technique you see arc strike arc strike is a definition of localized collapse outside the origin so you have to arc here strike happen like this arc strike cause this carelessness this is the carelessness so prevention in difficult area adjacent area can be protected as a fire blanket you can use the fire blanket in that the outside of the old area so so the so the fire blanket if it is not then it will not happen the arc strike repair how whatever applicable arc strike must be Sanded smooth and tested for the cracks. Definitely, you have to first smooth here the welding. After that, you have to check here LPT or DPT or everything and whatever MPT is there to check the any crack is there or not. Inclusion basically of three types. There is three types of inclusion are here: slag inclusion, wagon track inclusion, and tungsten inclusion. So slag inclusion, you see here the slag is entrapped into the weld. So within the weld 
it is inside the world it is sag inclusion cause this is why i am telling improper technique is improper trying to weld in an area that is too tight so table same vertical tight so it is happen when you are doing welding in the first first bead is completed in the second first will when will be done you have to check there is any slag in inside of there so you have to clean that slag and after that you have to start the welding prevention how will prevent increase the amperes to prevent grind out tight areas to gain access to the bottom of the joint so grind out the area you have to area the tight if you have tight area so you have to grind out and you have to open the groove then you can easily uh, do the welding repair remove by grinding or reweld you have to remove the grinding and you have to better you have to check in the dpt and after that you have to again redo the welding this is the organ track you can track how, how it is like that it is the root root is the slang term of a group follower at the toe of a root pulse which becomes filled with slag and it's trapped in the oil so this is the organ track was the counter of the root pulse is too high the root pulse is too high the oil metal oil metal pole is you see the very big or the oil toe is not bonded in the base metal so so base metal and the oil toe it is not totally bonded so prevention how will prevent Use proper technique to deposit of the oil. So proper technique, you should know the how how much oil deposit here means totally it is uh, related with the current voltage and travel speed. So repair base repair before applying the hot pass. Carefully grind the root pass. You have to carefully the root pass uh, and the face flat and be careful not to gouge other areas on the oil mill. You have you don't gouge any other area. You have to just here you have to gouge. Here you have to uh, then uh, grind the root first face flat, and you have to do one welding here. You see tungsten inclusion. It is looking like the white color. Tungsten particle embedded in a well. It is the GT atom only. If it is only gas tungsten are welding, so tungsten trapped in the well. So it is happen the tungsten inclusion. So tungsten electrode too small and amperes cause what happen? Electrode is tungsten electrode is too small. Small amperes is too high. Too high is the amperes. So if it is amperes too high, if it is tungsten will be melted and it is coming in the inside of the oil area. AC balance on uh, positive. Afterflow too high. Electrode tip not snip. Electrode tip it should be snip properly as per the design. Electro dipped into the well. Maybe it is electro dipped in the well. If it is electro dipped, means there is the arc length should be there. And the, if it is electro, it is comes under inside the well. Then it will happen like this tungsten inclusion. And pull or touch with the filler rod. And the filler rod and the pull touch. Electro spilled. Prevention. Eliminate the cause. You have to eliminate the cause. All cause should be eliminated. All those cause are eliminated. If you are grind out and reweld, you have to grind out and again, we have to reweld the repair. This is tungsten inclusion. Spider, you see the spider is here. Definition: small particles of weld metal split from the welding operation, which adhere to the weld base metal surface. So, definition is small particle of the weld metal split from the welding operation. When you are doing welding, if it is uh, depends upon the current, if it is current is high, or it is not in the proper current uh, condition, so the spider will come generate like this. Cause the longer arc length, if it is arc length is long and several electrode angles and high amperage. These three things is the cause. Long arc length, several electrode, several electrode angles, electrode angles is seven. If it is not as per the requirement, high amperage. Prevention. Correct the cause. Base metal can be protected with coverings or high temperature paints. If it is base metal, if it is high temperature paints is coming. If you see the uh, that is a paint, then you have to remove the paint first. After that, you have to do welding. At that side area, you have to remove the painting, and you have to do the welding before start. Repair, removal by grinding or sanding sometimes must be tested as if it is uh, as if it were a well. Arc cutters, you see arc cutters. What it is happen? Where the welding will be start or where the welding will be end? Definition. A depression left at the termination of the well where the well put is left unfilled. You see, where the uh, last when you are doing welding at the last, you see the uh, left unfilled the condition. This condition is the crater is coming. This is called the crater. It's a crater pipe. How do you say improper oil termination technique? The oil termination technique when you are doing the start and stop technique, this is not in the correct correct technique. Start stop technique is bad. So that's why it's coming the crater pipe. 
so if the how if no crack exit if see the you see the here the first you have to grind that area and you have to check in the lpt or dpt and if you see that there is no crack in the uh, there is no crack so simply fill the joint and you have to uh, check again by lpt or dpt so cracks there is so many cracks are there longitudinal transfer cater throat two roots so but we will discuss three two three care two or three uh, crack uh, areas Mm, but uh, after that we will uh, complete this video because of the already 30 minutes one so longitudinal crack you see here in the philatel it's a longitudinal crack it's coming sound that how why is coming uh, how, what is the definition a crack running in the direction of the old axis if it is coming running on the old axis in the direction in the old axis direction in the crack in the same direction in the old axis may be found in the old or base metal if maybe comes in the weld or base metal that is called the longitudinal crack cause is ki preheat or fast cooling problem means if it is a more thickness then you are holding the joint then if it is a fast cooling then it will happen that this longitudinal crack will become so preheat should be required for that reason prevention how will prevent well towards area of less constant also preheat or to even the cooling rate so preheat should be applied to control the cooling rate repair remove and reoil you have to remove and again reoil crater crack a crack generally in the same one of an x which is found in a, in a crater crater cracks is the hot cracks it is come from the star cracks so crack it is coming under x comes is a same and under x like this so cause is the tender of a whirlpool becomes a solid before the outside of the whirlpool so it is coming under always uh, you see here is this is the cataract is comes under the x shape x shape and it is coming under always the uh, outside of the oil pool and the become solid before the outside of the oil pool so this center of the oil pool this center of the oil pool what will happen thus when you are doing welding after welding finish the center of the oil pool become solid before the outside of the oil pool so outside of the oil pool before the outside of the oil pool the inside of the oil pool center of the oil it is become solid so the x type crack will be generated so pulling the center apart during so pulling the center pulling it will become the pull it will, be, it will pulling the center apart during pulling uh, when the during pulling stage what will happen the pulling the center part so then the x shape will uh, will come use crater fill fill the cutter as old termination and the preheat to prevent out the cooling of the pedal so cutter fill you have to do and fill the cutter and the old termination throat crack throat crack is same here throat crack is or just only we mentioned it is in the throat crack it is in the only fillet oil longitudinal crack located in the oil throat area if it is throat crack means in the longitudinal crack it is located in the throat area so it is here you see this is the longitudinal crack and if it is located in the throat area so this is called the throat crack cause is a transverse stretch probably from sinkage definitely indicates it uh, inadequate filamental selection or welding procedure may be due to cataract propagation so this is the transverse stretch. if it is a transverse stretch will be happen the longitudinal crack will be generated probably from sinkage if sinkage same things will be the pulling rate it is should be preheat should be done indicates inadequate filar metal if it is filar metal selection it is not proper then because of the uh, high maybe some of the cooling metal filar metal it is the high heat input required or low heat input required so the matching is not proper with the base metal then it will definitely happen the curd crack prevention is the correct initial cause you have to check the initial cause first increasing preheat may prevent so prevent increasing you have to increase the preheat so it can, it can be prevent be sure not to leave a cracker use a more ductile filler metal repair remove and reweld using appropriate procedure be sure to correct initial problem first so remove and you have to reweld using appropriate procedure so how to repair the cracks determine the cause we have to first the cause determine correct the problem problem we have to correct then take precaution to prevent recurrence then you have to precaution you have to need the precaution what precaution need to be done to prevent the future any recurrence to be done 
recurrence should not be happened. Generally, required to repair using a smaller electron. So, repairs of the cracks, this is of things, but definitely the cracks repair should be have the absolute procedure by the client. So, I already told this was already 35 minutes, so the video is too long. The second part will be the come to the next video. So, this is the very important from, from the beginning. Again, you have to check what are the cause, what are the prevention, what are the repair, and what are the definition of the particular track. I think all people are understand not this one. Thank you for watching this video. Again, I am telling please share and subscribe the channel to get regular video with different topic. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.